Hi, I'm Amy and this is A Star Reads and today I'm going to attempt to do something that I don't I don't normally do, <laughs> which is a short video. We'll see. I'm very long-winded. We'll see if it happens. <laughs> But I was recently watching Ruby Red do this recommendation video where she recommended books based off The Great British Bake Off, which if you haven't watched that show, it is fantastic. It's a baking competition. And you may say, Amy, I'm not a baker. I won't like this show. But I guarantee you, even if you are not a baker, you will love The Great British Bake Off because it is wholesome and wonderful and comforting. And what Ruby had mentioned was a big factor of this show. It is positive. So if you're looking for something to warm you up, at times when you're feeling cynical about life or stressed out to the max, watch A Great British Bake Off. It will make you feel so happy and positive and you'll see that people can be really wonderful to each other. <laughs> so I really enjoyed Ruby's recommendations because I thought they were unique and varied. And the way she did it was that she picked general themes for the show, like cake week and biscuits week and you know there's different themes they have every single week and so she did like the general themes that you would normally see on the show and she recommended a book for them and it was just it was so great and I'm gonna kind of piggyback off this idea I'm gonna change a little and I hope you don't mind Ruby but I I have an idea that I would like to try out and this might turn into a little series that will last this whole season of the Great British Bake Off. So what I would like to do is that I would like to look at each individual week that we're currently having in season 12 and pick five book recommendations off of five elements of that episode. So for this first week, it was cake week. And I will say, if you have not watched the first episode, I don't wanna spoil it for you, but I will. I will end up spoiling it for you. So stop here, go watch that episode, and then come back and get my book recommendations because I had fun putting this together. <laughs> For first week, like I said, it was cake week. And the very first challenge was 12 decorative mini rolls. And what this meant is like those, if you think of jelly rolls, the cake that is rolled with a little bit of filling on the center, and then it like makes a spiral. So you're supposed to make 12 of these little mini rolls and decorate them in a way that was pretty and cute and that would get the judge's attention. But this was actually a really good round and most people did a fairly good job on it. I don't think there were a lot of issues, so people were prepared for this. For my recommendation for this challenge, I'm gonna put forward the Wayward Children series by Sean and McGuire. Now, the reason I think this works out perfectly, I'm not really going with the 12, but there are many books in this series and it's continuing to grow. So I think that it works for the lots of 12, like being a larger number. And then they're novellas. These, all these books are mostly novellas, I think. And so they're shorter, they're like mini, they're smaller stories and they're very decorative in the writing style. I feel like Shauna McGuire does a great job of building ambiance and putting unique details in these books to make her writing so beautiful. I thought this worked out really well for decorative mini rolls. I can't wait to read the rest of the series. Also, I should point out that I believe that you should read Down Among the Sticks and Bones, which is the second book, before you read the first one. I want to go back and read the first one again, having read the second one, because I feel like I might appreciate the first one better now, after getting the background that you get from the second book. So I kind of think, let's flip those two and then that's where you should start with this series. So for the next challenge, it was the technical challenge and Prue had the contestants make malt loaf with homemade butter. So for this, I was thinking old fashioned, rich. This was like a traditional homemade simplistic meal. And the book that I wanted to match this with was Lorna Dune by R.D. Blackmore because this is a book that was set in Scotland a long time ago, I can't remember the dates of this. I think it was like in the 1400s, 1700s. I think it was more like the 1400s. I can't remember exactly. It's been a while since I read this, but it gave me that homey feel. And it's a very pastoral setting. The main character is, I can't remember his name now because I just can't remember anything. <laughs> but the main character is a very simple character. He's a simple man with simple desires. He gets caught up in some things that are darker than he probably would have gotten caught up in on his own, but it was really beautifully done. And what I took away the most from this book was how well R.D. Blackmore described everything, described nature. I mean, if you want a book that will make you feel like you're one with nature, this is definitely it. And he gives you the seasons in a way that are just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I enjoyed 
reading his descriptions. They grow all their own food, they raise all their own food animals. It's an older book, it's a very traditional feel to it. It has that warmth that you kind of feel when thinking about a malt loaf, or at least I feel when thinking about a malt loaf and homemade butter. So then for the final challenge, the contestants were supposed to make an anti-gravity illusion cake. And I could have gone a couple ways with this, and there were definitely different ways that I wanted to interpret this prompt for myself. But what I ended up going with was 1984 by George Orwell. So I was going more with the illusion cake part of it. And also with the anti-gravity in the whole discombobulating sense. So 1984 is this big brother type book where the government is completely controlling the people that live within the environment. And there's a lot of this illusion that your life is something when in actuality it's being controlled completely and it's being created for you and you have no control and no say over it. And if you try to go outside of that, the government takes care of you. <laughs> and I just felt like 1984 has this, what exactly is going on? Who can you trust? Who can't you trust? What's gonna happen to you if you try to push against these boundaries? It has that very confusing, discombobulating feel to it. And I thought that that went really well with this anti-gravity illusion cake idea. And so for the last two prompts, this is where it's gonna get spoiler heavy. So turn off here if you don't wanna be spoiled. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to pick books based off the winning cake and the losing cake. The winning cake was the nighttime reading cake by Jurgen, and it was really nice. It was very creative. I loved what he did. For this one, I'm gonna go with The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Stefan. When I think of nighttime reading, I think of shadows, I think of darkness, and I think of books, obviously. With Shadow of the Wind, we're exploring a book. We're exploring this boy who's trying to find out the history of this book and, and whatever happened to it because somebody is trying to destroy all the books. And it's a very dark shadowy vibe that you get from this story. He's trying to unlock this mystery, but it is really all about books. So I got that nighttime reading vibe when thinking about The Shadow of the Wind, which is a fantastic book. So if you haven't read it, I haven't read it in a long time. So I've got to <laughs> see if it still holds up for me, but I remember loving it, absolutely loving it. And I think it works really well for this prompt. Finally, the losing cake of this episode was called Classically Spectacular Showstopper. So when I think of this, I think of something that is classic, obviously. And then if it's Spectacular Showstopper, I think of something that's really dramatic, really bold, really in your face and gets your heart pumping or makes you excited or, or has a big finale in a sense, or, you know, like there's moments of such drama. And so for this one, I actually went with Medea by Euripides because it's a classic play. It's a play that was written a very long time ago, <laughs> pre-AD. So I thought this was perfect because it is incredibly dramatic. And it's classic also though, in a lot of the themes it uses, there's a lot of themes that are relevant today. And so they hold up very well, but it is show-stopping there, especially if you watch, oh, I watched a YouTube version, which I will link down below. That was so dramatic, but so beautifully acted. And you get the feeling of all of Medea's pain and all of her, frustration and all of her angry, but then you also have all these other really dramatic characters in this story as well. So there's a lot of like climaxes to this play. Loved it, love Medea. I really am happy that I got a chance to, to read that play because it was a lot of fun and it works beautifully in my opinion for classically spectacular showstopper. So I'm hoping if you like this to do this for all of the episodes of the season. So I'll, I'll see if I can put out more of these. It, it, it's gonna be shorter than my normal videos, so maybe I'll have time to <laughs> work on some of these shorter videos. Uh, there are a few episodes already out of Great British Bake Off, so I have a few I can catch up on. Go check out Ruby Red's video because she is the one who came up with this whole idea. I loved it so much. Thank you, thank you. I hope you don't mind that I changed it up a little bit for my own channel, but I take all my inspiration from you in this theme. What a fun way to create recommendations for books. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what books you would have used for these prompts because uh, they're a little challenging. I had a lot of fun figuring out books for them, but you know, it was like 12 decorative mini rolls. 
What are you doing for that? <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And so if you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see the next episode, which I think is biscuits. So I can't wait to come up with books for that one. Hopefully it'll be as easy as this one was because this one actually came together pretty easily. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.